Oklahomans watching Ukraine's capital closely tonight as Russia's invasion progresses. Among those watching carefully are members of the House and Senate. News 9's Erica Lee has their reaction. Senators, congressmen, and professors in Oklahoma have been posting on social media to share their thoughts on the impending Russia-Ukraine conflict. Some shared their thoughts with News 9 on the escalating situation. This afternoon, President Biden announced that the United States will be imposing sanctions against Russia. Representative Bice supported this, telling News 9 she believes it's important we continue to defend our allies. This is a power-hungry move by Putin that really threatens the stability of Europe and threatens the stability of peace around the world. And uh, I'm glad that we are finally putting some sanctions into place. Others speculated about Russian President Vladimir Putin's reason for the attack in the first place. He's wanting to restore the Soviet Union to this old dictator, communist style government. Representative Tom Cole put out a statement saying it is reminiscent of what the world witnessed almost a century ago in the 1930s, saying the world was slow to unite against aggression and it must not make the same mistake today. Senator James Langford also weighing in, saying he and his wife are praying for the people of Ukraine. He also called the Russian leader a murderous dictator. Some lawmakers received an intelligence briefing on the situation today. Further updates are expected as the situation develops. Erica Lee, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.